Welcome back everyone to the first official video in the new home. Uh, we are filming in here because, well, the game room is not put together and God only knows when it will be. But the show must go on and we got another box from Video Games Monthly. Let's check it out. Starting off, we got these Mighty Fight Federation cards. I don't know anything about these, but apparently if you collect them all, they make some sort of poster or some sort of image. Whatever. First game. Let's get this out of the way. Uh, Super Kiba Kaiba 2 on the Super Famicom. Do you really want me to talk about this game? Of course, I can't read Japanese, so I couldn't figure out what the hell to do. I'm guessing it's some sort of horse racing simulator or some sh <laughs> Fun fact though, many years ago when I was a young lad, my mom actually had two horses. So I know a little bit about horses, but what always cracked me up was when I would tell people that, yeah, my mom has two horses, they'd be like, oh, that's cool. But then I'd mention that we also have a donkey. <gasps> you have a donkey? Like they're some sort of rare exotic animal or some sh Unfortunately, the horses aren't with us anymore, but the donkey is still alive and kicking. Matter of fact, here's a photo of him at a recent 4th of July parade. With that being said, I think it's unfair to give this game a D or F, as it is a sequel, and obviously the first game did well enough to warrant a sequel. Uh, I'll give it a C. Next up, we got Burger Time on the Famicom. To be honest, I'm not the biggest fan of Burger Time, but that's because I absolutely suck at this game. I actually think the furthest I ever made it in this game was while capturing footage. Regardless, the game is a classic and I do find myself playing it when I come across it at conventions. My biggest complaint though, and maybe it's just this port of the game, is climbing the ladders. It can be really frustrating, which did result in some unnecessary deaths. Like I said, the game is a classic and even though I suck at it, I still find myself coming back to it. I'll give it a B. Next up, we got Spelunker on the Famicom. I want to love this game, but I can't. Don't get me wrong, I love the concept, but oddly enough, there's a common theme this month when it comes to complaints. This time it's not climbing ladders, but climbing ropes. I can't tell you how many times I died simply because I let go of the fucking rope for whatever reason. Definitely not the worst game in the world, but I feel like if my grandmother had this game when I was a kid, maybe I'd appreciate it more, but I'll give it a C. Last up, we got Judge Dredd on the Genesis. I actually got this game a long time ago from VGM, but it was on the Super Nintendo. I didn't hate it then, but I still don't love it now. For a licensed game based off a movie, it's actually not that bad. One complaint I have, and this is a personal complaint, it's not linear. You pretty much have goals to complete on each stage, so you have to wander around to find whatever it is you need to accomplish in order to move on. Hey, I'm a simpleton, give me a walk to the right until you reach the end kind of game any day. My only other complaint, remember how I said there was a theme this month? Climbing down ladders. You have to be in just the right spot and it can get very frustrating. Again, for a licensed game, it's really not that bad. It's no doubt playable and there's some fun to be had. I am kind of curious to see how it compares to the Super Nintendo version, but overall it's kind of an average game. But in the context of this box, I'll give it a B. And with that being said, that gives us a rounded up score of B. Not a bad month. 
Thanks again for watching, guys. You know what to do. Like, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff, and I'll see you again next time.